I'm going to talk about pure JavaScript applications in Meteor.js. Development in PHP was a pain. I was writing PHP code for a long time and then I needed to do some front-end stuff with JavaScript. I was concatenating strings with PHP operator. My brain couldn't switch to different syntax. PHP has different function names. If you are writing PHP code for a long time, you will probably not remember JavaScript function names and you will have to search for it. You will be losing time. And that's wrong. We can write pure JavaScript applications thanks to Node.js, which is JavaScript on the server. You can write isomorphic applications. It means that you can share code between client and server. You use JavaScript everywhere. There is a lot of Node.js frameworks, but they don't have much killer features and programmer has to do a lot of things himself. They have very small community and therefore lack of learning resources. Express.js is widely used, but it's very lightweight. Programmer has to do a lot of work himself. Meteor.js has a lot of killer features. It's easy to learn, it has good documentation, large passionate community and therefore a lot of learning resources. What is Meteor? It's a full-stack JavaScript platform for building real-time applications. Full-stack means that it takes care of client-side and server-side functionality. Platform means that it takes care of the whole development process from creating application to deploy. Meteor is built on top of Node.js. Meteor has a lot of killer features. The first small killer feature is Live Reload. If you change a file in your project, you can go to the browser and the browser is automatically refreshed. You don't need to refresh your browser yourself. This is really convenient and addictive. Meteor will automatically minify your CSS and JavaScript on production server. You don't have to think about minification on your own. You don't need to include CSS and JavaScript files manually. If you create CSS or JavaScript file in your project, Meteor will automatically include it in HTML for you. It's real-time by default. You can build simple real-time application in a few minutes. If you do a change in your database, the change is automatically published to all connected clients. For example, chat. If you insert new message into database, the message is automatically shown for all connected clients in the chat. Meteor has its own client-side technologies. You don't need to use complex Angular or Ember.js. You just have to learn about templates, helpers, events and session. They are very easy to learn. Here we define helper counter for template hello. The helper returns session value called counter. Here we define template with name hello. In this template is just button with class increase counter and we use helper counter with handlebar syntax. Here we define click event on increase counter class. In this event we increment session value of counter by 1. Minimongo is client-side implementation of MongoDB. You can send data from the server to Minimongo and you can work with them on the client. If you are working with data on the client, there is no request response time and changes to data are shown immediately in user interface. Data are fully synchronized with the server. Meteor has its own package system. Packages are isomorphic. It means they can contain server-side and client-side code, even templates. We can add accounts UI and account password package and then we can include login buttons template provided by accounts UI package into our application. Our application has now fully functional login and registration form. That's amazing. We can add less package. 
create less files and start writing less code. We can also add CoffeeScript package, create coffee files and start writing CoffeeScript. You can find packages on atmospherejs.com. There are more than 4000 packages. If you don't find package on Atmosphere, you can still use NPM. Meteor has built-in authentication and registration. You can easily log in with email, Facebook, Twitter, Google, GitHub and more. Just add service configuration package. For Facebook login add account Facebook package. Then just configure Facebook service. Add application ID and secret. And you can use Meteor login with Facebook to login with Facebook. You can deploy Meteor application with one command. Meteor deploy app name. And then you can see your application on appname.meteor.com. That's hosting provided by Meteor for free. If you want to deploy your application to your own server, you can use Meteor app package. You will install it with npm. Command init will install everything you need for running your application on your server. Command deploy will upload and run your application. You can also build mobile applications in Meteor. For now just Android and iOS. You can install Android SDK, add platform Android to your project and run Android application. Publish subscribe. You can publish data on the server and subscribe to them on the client. Data on the client are stored in Minimongo. Data are fully synchronized with the server. Auto publish and insecure packages are added in Meteor application by default. Auto publish package publishes all data from the server to the client into Minimongo. You don't have to think about what data to publish when you are prototyping your application. With Insecure package, you can modify your data in developer's console. This is useful for prototyping. You don't need forms for inserting and modifying your data. You can do it right in console. If you want to deploy your application to production server, you have to remove these packages. If you forget to remove them, you have serious security issue. Some directories in Meteor application are special. Client directory contains code that runs on the client. Lib directory contains code that can be used on the client and on the server. Public directory can contain images and other static files. Server directory contains code that runs on the server. There are more special directories and you can read about them in Meteor documentation. Meteor isn't perfect. It supports only MongoDB at this time. You can find packages for other databases, but they are not officially supported. Meteor team is planning to support multiple databases. Meteor community is great. You can find Learn Meteor GS properly group on Facebook. You can discuss there anything about Meteor. Feel free to join us. Meteor has new forum where you can find interesting topics and get to know Meteor community better. My first Meteor application was to do today. It's not just simple to do application. You can create projects, you can measure your time and you can see history of your work. It's open source, you can find it on my GitHub. Sinist was my second Meteor application. This is my biggest Meteor application so far. I have learned a lot while building Sinist. You can create a list of bands you have seen live on Sinist. TypeFast is simple application for competition in typing. You can compete with other users in real time. It's open source and you can find it on my GitHub. FasterChat is a chat application where you can see what your friend is typing right now. Every single letter. This is fun and you should try it. It's open source. Codermania is my latest project. 
It's a learning platform for learning to code interactively. It's similar to Codecademy, but it's better. <laughs> learning resources for Meteor. You can start on official Meteor web, meteor.com. You can read about Meteor performance and scalability on Meteor hacks. If you like books, you can read Discover Meteor book. If you like screencasts, you can watch them on eventedmind.com. If you like video courses, you can find them on Udemy. Just search for Meteor. Meteor packages are on atmosphere.js.com. I write about Meteor at meteor.hermnik.com. You should follow Meteor.js on Twitter and watch hashtag Meteor.js. The last words I want to say, try to build an application in Meteor and you will probably fall in love with it. Enjoy better way of building modern applications.